Hi, I'm Craig Grant, and this is Cobweb Maths, where we relate things, okay? And today's topic is car ownership. How much does it cost to own a car? Now, car ownership is different from running costs, the running costs of a car. And I'll show you what the difference is. Now, when you own a car, there are two types of costs, which I've said, ownership costs and running costs. Now, the way to look at ownership costs, suppose you buy a car and you put it in a garage and you don't use it. Then the only thing you're going to pay is ownership costs. Right? Now, when you take out the car and you start using it, you have to pay for fuel, for parking, for repairs, for maintenance, for fines, for car wash, for grooming, whatever, right? Those are all your running costs. Now I'm going to do a couple of examples. By the way, I live in New Zealand and in actual fact, um, it's going to be different in different countries. However, some things will be the same, and by the way, I'll put this upside down, I've got to put it the right way up. Alright, let me start again. Uh, as I was saying, I live in New Zealand, so things are different in different countries, but the maths is basically the same, and these costs here will probably be similar. Now, your fixed costs are your registration, warrant, etc., that's around about $500. And your insurance be around about $500 and there's a thing called depreciation of car value which means your car loses 20% on average of its value uh, every year um, now here's an example where I'm going to um, use the idea of a parking meter I'm going to take your ownership costs and I'm going to see how much you need to put into a parking meter each hour to cover your ownership costs. Well, here's the first example. The car value is $4,000. So the first thing you work out here, work out here, is 20% of 4,000. So you divide 4,000 by 5, and that's $800. Uh, then you've got these two here, which come out to be 1,000. So you've got $1,800 a year. Now. One year is 52 weeks. Now we're just going to do an approximate calculation. So what I do is I just divide that by 50, uh, which is like dividing that by 100 and, and halving it. No, sorry, doubling it. Anyway, when I say dividing by 100 and multiplying by 2. So if you take off the zeros, multiply that by 2, you get 36. Or if you just do the straight division, it'll come out to be 36. Now, one week is seven days, so you divide that by seven. Seven fives are 35, so I just make it five dollars. And what we'll do is we'll divide that by 25, because one day is, is uh, 24 hours, but each dollar has got 100 cents, and if you divide by 25, that's four cents on the dollar. So we have five dollars, five fours are 20, so that's 20 cents an hour. You can do all the math, but it comes out to be 20 cents an hour, got a parking meter in the garage, you're going to have to feed 20 cents in an hour to cover your ownership costs. Right, that's the first example. Well, let's see what happens if we buy a more expensive car. Now, we're buying a really good car for 40000 The depreciation is going to be 8000 20% is one fifth, just divide that by five. Five and 40 just goes eight. We add an extra thousand dollars on for the ownership costs, you know, that's for the registration and the insurance. Although, the insurance costs could be a bit higher, so it could be higher than this here. It might actually be, the insurance costs could be even a thousand more, 
So that would take your ownership costs up to 10,000, but we won't do that. Anyway, let's start at 9,000, that's per year. So we uh, divide by 50 and we'll get 180 per week. Then we divide that by seven and uh, we'll get $26 a day, which works out to be $1 an hour. So you have to feed the parking meter $1 an hour. So you can see depreciation, if you buy a really good car, is a very large cost.